Stop this train with a Lambo by Mr. Beast. Let's get into it. We ain't gonna waste no time. Let's see what's going on. Um, what you gotta use? Anything and everything? Hmm. SpaceX is a quarter million dollar Lamborghini, and barreling down on it right now is a massive train. But before the impact, I'm giving this Lamborghini to Blake. Thank you. And on top of sending the train, I'm also gonna have these eight soldiers shoot 10,000 bullets at your Lamborghini. That's the scary part. Don't shoot my, don't shoot my Lambo, man. What the? Why? <laughs> it's not bulletproof. I've ever seen. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And you have exactly 24 hours to build whatever you want to protect your Lamborghini from the bullets. The timer hey, okay. starts now. Okay, first line of defense, I'm thinking a wall of cinder blocks. After that... What? Bullets go through that, boy. What are you talking about? Anyways. Some shipping containers filled with refrigerators. And what? Then bullets go through that, too. We ain't never seen a sniper rifle. We go through all of that. And basically just a wall of cars to block those bullets. Do you think all of this is a- What? He ain't put no type of bullet protection, bulletproof armor, nothing. He put all steel. He's gonna go straight through, bro. Oh my gosh. Let alone the car's gonna blow up on impact. Hi, hi, hi. His car gonna blow up, man. It's gonna get hit. Ain't no way. It's not smart. Enough to stop 10,000 bullets. No. I think it is, Jimmy. Okay, but so no. far, nothing's there. You should get the building. Blake immediately drove to three stores where I gave him my credit card and he literally spent. I can see if he put some tanks out there. They bulletproof. He put regular cars. Really? Sheesh Louise. He could have put regular cars and threw some bulletproof armor body vest inside the cars at least. He must don't know. $78,000 on supplies. And since I don't want to bore you with all that, let's just skip to the part when everything was delivered. His first round of supplies are starting to show up. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I bought all this stuff and this isn't even everything, man. He's got a water truck. Some of his junk cars came in. He's got a Connex crate over here. How did he get this much stuff? This is crazy. Don't worry about the guys with the machine guns. Just pretend they're not there. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what they're doing there, honestly. We're five hours in, and this storage container is about to be the first line of defense against 10,000 bullets. All right, that's probably good. That's probably good. Do you think that shipping container is going to stop any bullets? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's what I'm saying. If you know how guns work, that's not going to stop nothing. It'll shoot. It'll eat through that. Like ants, like termites. It'll eat straight through that. You know, lost your mind. So as of now, he's screwed. He's yeah, screwed. Yeah, he's not looking good. Oh, it's Bye. been about six hours. Are you happy with your progress? You can tell a rookie. He don't know nothing. Obviously, right? I'm very happy. You sure? It wasn't until this thing got down, but now that it's down, dude, I feel really good. I asked them if this would stop the bullets, and they said no. And once Blake realized he... No. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? A regular Glock could shoot through that. You tripping. <laughs> He tripping. His car gonna get shot up. He tripping. He had to go all out. He worked not only through the night. This way, Mr. Railroad ties. Nice, nice, yes. Really nice, really nice. But even into the next morning, upgrading his defense. What it can do is it can project the bullet. Instead of going straight, you can make it turn and go different ways. Hopefully, that's what happens. But, whew. Dude, he's stuffing the storage container with a van and a giant tube. And once I saw it put together, I was honestly pretty impressed. Run me through what you built. So I built a whole bunch of concrete in the front, and the tallest part of the wall is right in the center to block the crow's nest machine guns, because those things are big and scary. I got all my storage containers and a bunch of water. And if you come right over here, you will see his Lamborghini tucked away amongst everything. There it is, nice and cozy. Do you think <laughs> all of this will stop the bullets? No. Yeah, I do. I think you have a 50% chance of survival. It's the best odds I've had yet, so. And before I have them shoot 10, thousand rounds come with me to the lamborghini not only are you competing for this lamborghini but for a hundred grand as well Ooh. what yes sir Ooh. yeah that's pretty cool this will be enough to cover the insurance <laughs> 24 <laughs> hours is up eight scary men ten thousand bullets versus everything that blake has built are you ready let's get it over with all right let's go we're locked and loaded ready to fire on you jimmy <laughs> fire on you jimmy fire at will Center block. That's nothing. You can punch through center block. Yo, like, come on, dude. 
Lake if these guns are only the first of four phases oh, we've designed gosh. to destroy this Lamborghini. Oh, gosh. He ain't gonna have no stability. You picking the car up 200 feet in the air and dropping it. Man, oh my gosh. Sheesh. Or should I say, whatever remains after this. Sheesh. They just brought out the LMG. Look, they ain't even, they ain't even finished. They still got 7,000 more bullets to go. Oh, gosh. Good way to tear up a Lamborghini. <laughs> That's the LMGs now. contestant from two previous videos but today he's back for a third and final attempt to win the grand prize are you ready for face two? yes see that giant crane coming <sighs> the big yellow oil rig looking thing that is phase two that crane is going to lift your car up 100 feet and then in 24 hours drop it and you have to catch it without it being destroyed okay 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 you got it you got this man you got this man lambo is pretty light pretty light it's only two, three thousand pounds. It's pretty light. That's a feather. You got this, man. Come on. Seriously? Yeah. All right, bring it over got here. This. And while we prepare the world's first hundred foot Lamborghini freefall, yeah. we need a big trampoline with some, with some, uh, what we need? Some foam pit balls and stuff like that. We need, we need big, massive trampoline. There goes your Lamborghini, man. <laughs> he began to strategize on how he was going to catch it. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Chandler, come over here. Yes, I'm here. How would you break its fault? So you get all the pillows in the city. Yeah. Step two. Pillows? What? Pillows are softer than foam. Foam, bro. Don't do pillows. Pillows are feather. Don't do pillows. That's not going to work. Get all the mattresses. Next, get a blanket. Taylor, you're just making a giant bed. They don't want that milk. All right, stop. You're not helping. Blake, work your magic. Oh, I'm screwed. All right, guys. I got some good news and bad news. We fun. passed day one with flying colors. The bad news is uh, the Lamborghini is airborne. Okay, so. And you don't want nothing that's going to make the Lambo bounce. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to hit the ground and then bounce and then bounce. It's going to flip. You don't want that to happen either. So we need something that's going to cushion it. You got any idea? Hold it down. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, like, what do we think? Foam. Bouncy castles. Bouncy castles. That, that's actually not that bad, just because that's not bad at all, really. Yeah. After being inspired by the construction worker's wisdom, Blake had decided on his master plan. I would like to move the connexes in like a square right here with the X. Okay. And that way, I can just fill the square up with a bunch of air mattresses, pillows, bubble wrap, and I'll top it all off with a bunch of bouncy castles. Just you know, the biggest problem right now is I have. No material. Everything that I bought is hard, concrete, or metal, and nothing that I bought I can use for day two. So I have absolutely nothing. And so Blake sent his crew to buy every pillow and air mattress in the city. And even though he was incredibly sleep deprived, he got to work. I'm already at the stage where it's like, wait, why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm in a challenge for a Lamborghini that's floating in the sky right now. By the time his materials had arrived, Blake had been awake for over and on a thousand. Over 24 hours and was in desperate need of sleep. I'm going to try to get some sleep because I'm exhausted and it's 4 in the morning. And with how exhausted Blake was, he ended up sleeping for way longer than... Of course. Sleep. You mean sleeping, boy? You trying to get this... Man, you sleep after you drop... You sleep in your Lambo with your 100,000, man. Once you win. It's about sleep. Oh, gosh. Plan. Blake! Um, is he serious? What is Whoa. it? He got matches in his pillows and blankets. But he's missing the warm milk. Yeah, that's the thing with everything. Where is more? He's asleep, I heard. No, he's not. Yeah. By the time Blake got on site, it was already super late in the day. That's Blake's truck pulling up. Hey, we need to get to alert. Come on. All right, let's just see what this looks like. Oh, that bouncy house works as a big box. So I'm thinking maybe we put that thing in the middle now, and then we start blowing it up. Only four and a half hours remain, and it's not looking good. Okay, it look good. Shut up, Jimmy. It look good. It look good. 
I just hope the car don't bounce. I really hope the car don't bounce, bro. And for Blake, I don't think he has more than a 10% chance of catching that Lamborghini. And even if he does, there's no shot he's stopping that train later on. Start filling up the side so that way it's high over here, takes away this wall. So with only a couple of hours remaining, Blake did all that he could by filling the rest of his pit with cardboard boxes and bubble wrap. It's coming down to the wire. Okay. Chandler, how much time is left? Okay. One hour. Blake is screwed. I have a little bit of bubble wrap left. I think I'm just going to get raised on this thing and just wrap my baby up in this bubble wrap and I'm good to go. That's definitely going to help. Blake spent what little time he had remaining on this crane, failing at trying to bubble wrap his car. Girl, bubble wrap the car. You know what time it is? Boy. Why did you do that when the car was down? Time to drop the car. Let's drop this <laughs> Oh, the wind blowing is crazy. The wind blowing is crazy. Please don't make this car flip on its side. <sighs> the wind blowing is crazy. A wrap makes it look majestic. Like, do you think your Lamborghini will survive? Yes. I'm positive, dude. He's more certain than me. <laughs> I'm positive about this one. I bought every air mattress at Walmart. If this won't catch you, I don't know what will. I did everything I can. Here's a few tools bar, Blake. Oh, thank you, Mr. You know, that way, even if you lose the car, at least you have some good chocolate. It's available at Walmart. Be sure to go try our new chocolate. <laughs> at least you got some good chocolate. What the fuck? How you gonna feed men chocolate? You don't even feed dogs chocolate. Why would you feed a man chocolate? Anyways, back to it. Back to the video, y'all. I'm so curious what you think. But anyways, you have three bouncy castles, 150 <laughs> mattresses. How many pillows? 150. 150 pillows and 2,000 cardboard boxes. Will it break the Lamborghini's fall? Yes. I don't see. Yes. That's two yeses. Okay. <laughs> 24 hours of work down to this. You got no it. pun intended. Three. Count on the fact that the video is going to be another 10 minutes. Uh, obviously, it worked, right? All right, let's go. <laughs> Flaming cars. Wow. That's a low blow. But you see how he's done this before. We're gonna up the stakes by dropping twice as many cars as last ten. Time. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a lot to prove. Redemption day. Blake spent the rest of the night disassembling his defense for phase two. And okay. after a good night of sleep, he was ready to begin his defense for phase three. Straight in the morning, just woke up. I got a lot of work. Move them containers closer. That's what I would do. Back pack it in. Put something on top and then fill it up after that. Take all the metal, metal, take all the wood, all that plastic, get the bat out of there. Cause that's what happened last time. He had that wood on top and it just burnt everything through. To do today, so let's get started. Here's the day three plan. I'm gonna cut the bottom out of a shipping container and I'm gonna drop it right on the car. Okay. Next, I'm gonna take two more containers and I'm gonna lean them up, coming to a point right above the car. Okay. And most importantly, nothing flammable this time. Do you think that was the flammable car? Yes, sir. Oh, I thought you were gonna say no. <laughs> Blake then asked his crew to remove every piece of wood that was in the container because that's what ended his challenge last time. He then had them cut out the bottom of the container that would surround the Lamborghini. 
heat. The storage container yeah. could put a lot of damage. Really crush it? Yeah. You can? I mean, yeah, that thing weighs a whole lot. <laughs> Duh. With that being done, okay. Like, you can? Duh. Like, what did you expect? It just needs to lower the container carefully over the Lamborghini without damaging. One scratch can cost him thousands of dollars. <laughs> just like that. It is so close. If he wants to get it fixed, what are you talking about? If you get them hairline scratches, you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Just scraping the car. That's the part that's that we coming like, down. It's not mandatory. Yes! Yes! I don't believe that. Nah, All right, next, we're going to bring these containers together to form a V. What if the car gets caught in there? Yeah, that's that can't happen, dude. That's why we're putting this pointy thing at the top. Do you think that will actually deflect our car? Yes. 100%. 20 minutes remain, and then we see a bad Lamborghini perishes just like his 500 grand. Oh, god. And as usual, Blink <laughs> utilized every last second. Three, two. Wait, wait, that's it? Oh, gosh. That's it? I thought it was going to be more stuff. Oh, man, we might be in trouble, y'all. That's it? Ah, right, we got it, we got it. What? Not quite sure what that dirt accomplished. <laughs> Time is up. Sand helps stop fire, Jimmy. How you rich but stupid? Anyways, my bad, y'all. <laughs> like, why do stupid people got money? Like, it is just... <laughs> Let's see if unlike last time, you survive phase three. Rich is stupid. It's like... You don't have like, to be smart. Like, you lost five hundred thousand dollars from this exact challenge. How are you feeling? I feel pretty confident. I think the viewers want to know one thing: Did you put wood inside of there like last time? A little bit. Uh, no, I was kidding. There's no wood in there. It was one of the biggest it mistakes. Just entertained it, right? Moment <laughs> of truth. Come on. In. Three shipping containers. That's too funny. A bunch of dirt, concrete, a weird like pointed roof thing versus ten flaming cars. Are you ready? Let's go. Be one step closer to going home with a brand new Lamborghini filled with $100,000 or be eliminated and go home with nothing. We're about to find out. Yeah, you should have wrapped the car with sand too. Two, oh gosh, you just got a detail one, after. Drop it! I see. Oh! Oh! I knew it. Oh, you did not. I feel like that's exactly what you did in one time. Uh, uh, I knew it. Still feeling good? Not as good. Yeah, this is giving me some flashbacks. It's giving you some flashbacks. All right, ready for the next one? Let's do it. Drop it. It's gonna fall off. Oh my God! Okay. The roof looks like it's already buckling. <sighs> and just in case Blake loses to the flaming cars like last time, I'm gonna take this moment and tell you about this amazing new phone. Get <laughs> the new phone. Currently watching on is the new Samsung. Oh, this is crazy. God. Go ahead and drop it. Oh, okay, that fell off. Okay, it might be good. It might be good. It fell off. Might be good. The sand ain't gonna allow the, uh, the heat to go closer to the car. The top one on top already burnt out. It might be good. It might be good. Okay. Ooh, that hurt as long as that car stay on top, it might be good. It also has a ton of new features with Galaxy might be good, AI, bro. like photo assist. Okay, good. Go. That's good. We like that. The like last that. challenge when the bumper got cracked on the Lambo, you can just circle it like this. And all you do is you hit that eraser button. And just like that, the bumper is fixed. I have a new car. The bumper is not fixed. And then when the person comes to buy the car, they're going to be looking at it like, uh. Mm. For the picture you do. <laughs> Whatever you're ready. <laughs> this phone also has circle to search with Google, which makes okay. finding okay. information good. incredibly good. easy. Good money, good money, good money. Still in the game. As long as they fall off, you're good. It would have helped Blake a lot in the last video to learn about the flammability of wood and railroad ties. All he needed to do was long press the home button, circle the railroad ties, and ask, is this flammable? And as you can see, railroad ties are flammable. Yeah, of course, they look like it. All right, let's keep going. I was genuinely impressed by this phone, and I think you will be too. So, go to Samsung. <laughs> cars we got left for we dropped car after car and with each one we could tell blake was getting nervous but we also noticed that all of the impacts were starting to damage the crate itself oh. your crate on the bottom is bowing at this point the container it's safe you gotta have him get that thing up out of there you're protecting the lamborghini was being crushed by the weight and heat of the car uh -huh. i've been talking about this every day since the last time i saw this and now it's time for the final car Oh, no. Bro, he 
it's got to be a thousand degrees in there. His car has to be melting now. We got the fire station. Somehow he's running so fast. <laughs> if he put it out of time, he good. Come on, Blake. Okay. He good. How is it? Good. It's okay. It's uh, okay. Yes. We like And that's the reason why they build them homes. Out of, they got some homes built out of shipping containers. You know what I'm saying? Because they're so strong. Definitely stronger than wood and brick cement. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Still. If one more car was dropped, this crane would have collapsed. You stopped 10,000 bullets. Mm -hmm. You caught a car out of midair. You've now deflected 10 flaming cars. And now it's time for phase the three. Train. Two to 5,000 horsepower running dead into you. Okay, let's see. Let's see how you're going to stop this one. The, train. the timer has officially started. The train. Good luck on phase four. That's you gotta clean up. What is he even running at? Blake knew <laughs> that the train was going to be the most deadly attack yet, so he wasted no time in getting started. Oh, we're trying to stop it before and get. There. Okay, got you. The best way to stop a train is to derail it. That's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, got you. Man, put the put the shipping containers on there. That, it, 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 it derailed that train. I'll tell you that. You throw them shipping containers. Forget the wood. Throw the shipping containers on there. It, it derailed it real fast. Uh huh. You just pop it right up. Psh, that train gonna be flying across the planet. All these railroad ties are tucked snug, and all of these are gonna go under the train. And the train's gonna hit them like that. And if I do okay. that a hundred more times, I don't see the train just blowing past all that. Not the wood. You gotta use the metal. Railroad ties lost me the use challenge the last video. This time they'll save me. Just two inches off the track, and I win. Two inches is a lot, though. My man, and then once I a heavy train, right? I mean, like 10,000 pounds or more. I'm all this done. I just put concrete on top. I think that's gonna work, man. I think that's gonna okay, work. Okay, concrete. Blake worked with his crew throughout the entire night. And when I showed up the next morning, it was obvious that the challenge had taken a toll on him. What's up, Jimbo? What happened to your voice? I'm like dying out here. As you guys know, he lost $250,000 in this video. He lost half a million dollars in this video. I think Blake is sick and tired of losing. That container gonna help too. Cause even if it ripped through it, it's gonna stop it by the top. It's gonna keep trying to rip through the steel. You need, you need a couple of these, two of them. He gonna be good, y'all. I think he gonna be, he gonna win this time. He, he is gonna, I feel like he gonna win this super time. Hard. They're currently stacking the cars, cars on that we two. dropped on phase three okay, okay. on the train tracks. But time was still ticking down. And in order to stop this train and take his Lambo home, Blake began adding a lot more objects to yeah, the tracks. Yeah, Like yeah, shipping containers, mattresses to cushion the impact. Blake's worked so hard. I'm now on his team. And <laughs> Blake really seems to know what he's doing. Too bad there's only 11 minutes left. At this point, Blake did everything he could to finish his build before time ran out. And it was actually starting to look impressive. Hey. This is it. Hey. The final stretch. Two. One. Last line of defense. Time to <laughs> Turn it off. Turn it off. Time is officially up. Turn it off. From phase one's shipping containers, phase two's mattresses, and even phase three's burning cars, you somehow use all the resources from the previous phases. You got it. Let's see if you're driving home in a Lamborghini or if I'm dropping you off at your house. Bring the train on, man. Bring it on. Before we ram everything, we need to back the train up. We're going to go really far back. That way the train can pick up a lot of speed before it hits everything. Sound like a good idea? No, Jimmy. That sounds awful. Be honest. Do you think your Lamborghini will survive? God, I hope so, Jimmy. And of course, we have to put the Feastables logo on the train. The new formula is the best chocolate on earth. Do yourself a favor. Go Lamborghini. Blake, any last words? Give it all you got. Send the train. There it comes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's coming. Speed up until it hits 35 miles an hour right before impact. Oh, you straight. You straight, bro. 35. Why oh, you straight? Dude, it is going quick. It's just going to derail. It's just going to derail. Here it comes. Let's see if it's all right. Oh, my God. Oh. 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 Yay, it stopped. Yay. It's slowing down. The, the containers to keep it. Cars got wait, it. Wait, 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 blow it derail. Yes. Oh my god. Like, the containers would have did it. The cars got it. Good. It was only going 35. That was too slow. Oh my god. It's too slow. Oh my god, I did it. Money. Yes. Congrats! I did it! Go to the 
pass right in this video, boy. What? I've been going to Walmart <laughs> by Feastables. I knew he was going to say something about the damn Feastables. I'll see y'all in the next one. We out. Mr. Beast. It's crazy. Peace. Yeah.